Yes, a very good morning to all of you. So we are doing circle chapter. And the 10th question we have started with, let us restart. Question number 10. Let us continue with question number 10. Prove that angle between the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the points of contact at the center. So first of all, let us try to understand the statement of the theorem by making the figure. We are having a circle with center O and two tangents, they are drawn. I think this we have done. Ye mara complete ho gaya tha. Have we completed this? I think so that we have completed it. Bhavna. This question we have completed yesterday actually. Question number 11 we will start with. See question number 11. Prove that parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Prove that parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. First of all, see what is the meaning of circumscribing. I have told you yesterday also that when a figure circumscribing the other figure, then that figure will be outside the first figure. That means if it is given that parallelogram is circumscribing the circle, then that means parallelogram is to be drawn outside and circle should be the inside of the parallelogram. That means the figure will be like this. Just a minute. Circle with center O. Parallelogram circumscribing circle. Parallelogram circumscribing circle is a rhombus. This is the theorem. So what I am taking, I am taking the parallelogram ABCD, which is circumscribing this circle with the center O. This is a parallelogram ABCD. This is circumscribing the circle with the center O. We want to prove that this parallelogram, if, it, if with this condition we draw the parallelogram, that parallelogram is circumscribing the circle, then this parallelogram, this is going to be a rhombus. We want to prove that ABCD is a rhombus which is circumscribing a circle that is going to be a rhombus. So let us start with the given. Given a circle with the center O and parallelogram ABCD circumscribing the circle and from the figure it is very much clear when, uh, that when this parallelogram is circumscribing the circle that means it will definitely touch the circle at the particular points at the certain points so let us suppose th those points to be p q r and s we are writing that a parallelogram abcd circumscribing the circle and touching it at the points, touching it at the points P, Q, R and S. It is touching the circle at the point P, Q, R and S. These are the points that the parallelogram is touching the circle. Ko touch kar hai. What we want to prove? We want to prove that A, B, C, D is a we want to prove A, B, C, D is a rhombus. This we want to prove that A, B, C, D is a rhombus. We A, B, C, D ko rhombus prove karna. And uh, in quadrilateral chapter, when in 8th standard, we did the quadrilateral chapter and uh, we uh, learned there that whenever we need to prove that a parallelogram is a rhombus, 
what is needed we just want to prove that adjacent sides of a parallelogram we just if we just uh, want to prove that adjacent sides of parallelogram are equal if the adjacent sides of parallelogram become equal that becomes the rhombus right so our target is it's given to be a parallelogram to make it to be to prove it to be a rhombus we will prove that its adjacent sides are equal so let us start with the proof first of all this is a parallelogram which is circumscribing a circle and parallelogram is a type of quadrilateral that means this is a quadrilateral too ye quadrilateral bhi hai abcd and yesterday we did one result in case of quadrilateral which is circumscribing the circle in question number i think 8 in question number 8 we have proved that that i told you that you have to remember it as a standard result sometime in mcq it is there that if a, a quadrilateral circumscribing the circle then some of the opposite sides it is same let us prove it once again so we will write uh, considering the vertices individually so we will write to know that the length of length of the tangents length of the tangent drawn from drawn from external point to the circle are equal length of the tangent drawn from the external point to the circle they are always equal so what it means it means if i consider this external point a and uh, i see the two tangent from this external point a one is at and another is as they are going to be equal so we'll write here as is equal to sorry ap is equal to as equation number 1 so similarly you can have this bp is equal to bq equation number 2 and from the point c you can have cr is equal to cq ek minute punita ji chalo so we can have this cr is equal to cq right so uh, if we are taking the point c from here then cr and uh, cq they will be equal to each other equation number 3 by using the concept that the tangents drawn from the external point to the circle they are always equal in length so say, uh, same is the case when we are considering the point d it will be ds is equal to as wali side mein me ds likhna hai ds is equal to dr this is equation number 4 same uh, the same question that we same proof that we did in question number 8 that i am reducing right because i need it here so when we are adding these equation adding 1 2 3 and 4 adding 1 2 3 and 4 what we will be getting ap plus bp plus cr plus dr this is equal to as plus bq plus cq plus ds right so we will add these two equations and we will reach to this step further on adding these equation what we will be getting see this is ap and this is bp when we add them according to figure we will get ab and uh, this is cr plus tr this is cr plus tr according to figure when we add them cr and dr we will get cd right and on the other side if we add this as and ds out of this we will get ad and if we add bq and cq we will get bc so this is ab plus cd is equal to ad plus bc so this uh, you have to remember it as standard result as well that whenever a quadrilateral circumscribing a circle 
you must have the sum of the opposite sides to be equal. That means AB plus CD, this is equal to uh, BC plus AD, right? So up to this we have done, let us see what to do further. AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. Now, we need to prove that adjacent sides are equal because if in a parallelogram adjacent sides get equal, then that parallelogram becomes rhombus. This condition we are getting marked to be equation number one, right? So equation number one, we are having AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. That is some of the opposite sides, they come out to be equal, right? Now the thing is, how to prove from here that the adjacent sides are equal? Here, you will use your given that ABCD is a parallelogram. And we know that in case of parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. In case of parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So what it means, you can put this CD equal to AB. So replace CD by AB. And second side, C. अगर मैं इस AB की बात करूं, AB AD के साथ ये adjacent बना रहा है और BC के साथ ही, so you can replace one with the other. So C AD and BC they are also the opposite sides of parallel parallelogram, so one can be replaced with the other. So I'm writing BC to be AD. You write because AB is equal to CD and uh, BC is equal to AB. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal, so we can use this. So two times AB, this is equal to two times AD. Two, two get cancelled. So we are having AB is equal to AD. This AB and the side AD, they comes out to be equal by this replacement. So AB and CD comes out to be equal. And what AB and CD forming are forming? These AB and CD, uh, sorry, AD, they are forming the adjacent sides of parallelogram. And we know that if adjacent sides of parallelogram are getting equal, then parallelogram becomes rhombus. So you will conclude by writing, this implies adjacent sides, this implies adjacent sides of parallelogram a, B, C, D are equal. Adjacent sides of parallelogram A, B, C, D are equal. So this implies A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Again, one more question for MCQ, you will remember that if a parallelogram circumscribing the circle, then that parallelogram must be a rhombus. That's, that parallelogram going to be a rhombus right so every theorem of this chapter every theorem of this chapter you will remember it as a uh, particular result because they can be in the form of mcq right Chile, let us start with the next question question number 12 question number 12 let us read out the statement. Twelfth question is, a triangle ABC is drawn to circumscribe a circle. This time, triangle is circumscribing the circle. What it means? That triangle will be outside and circle will be inside. If had it been written like triangle is inscribed in the circle, then triangle will be inside, circle will be outside. So it is given that triangle is circumscribing the circle. So this is like this. Triangle circumscribing the circle. A triangle ABC, name of the triangle is given to the ABC. It is circumscribing the circle like this. Naturally, if it is circumscribing the circle, it will touch the circle at the particular point. One point is given, another we will take E and F. It is touching the circle at the point D, E, F. Further, he says, Circle is of radius 4 centimeter. This is the center of the circle. And all these 
OD, OE, OF. They are the radii of the circle, and radius of the circle it is given to be four centimeter. Radius of the circle it is given to be four centimeter. And this radii. OD when this radii OD is OD is drawn, uh, this radii OD it is dividing BC into two parts BD and DC, in which CD is given to be six and. DB is given to be eight. This is the division of BC. Total length of BC is fourteen, which is divided into two parts by the point D, CD, and BD, where CD is given to be six and BD is given to be eight. Right? So, ये हमारे पास division हो गई किसकी BC की into two parts. One is CD, another is BD. In four as six and eight. So, what we need to find? He says, using all this information, find the sides AB, this side AB, and the side AC of triangle ABC. We need to find these sides AB and AC. Now see this AC side. If I am looking this AC side, this is having two parts in it. One is AF, another is FC. And some of the part I know better that this F C की value मुझे पता है अभी बताती हूँ कैसे and if I look at this side A B this is consisting of the two parts one part is A E another part is B E so this side also in this side also I know some of the part and that is B E कुछ part मुझे पता ही है और वो क्या है B E है B E की value जो है कुछ part की value मुझे पता ही है अभी बताती हूँ कैसे if I see this point C With respect to this circle, this is an external point to the circle, and we know that tangent drawn from the external point to the circle, their lengths are always equal. So this is CD and this is CF. Being the tangent from the external point to the circle, their length will be equal. That means I know this is CF very well. As this is six, so CF will will also be six. So if I am looking on the this side of the figure, this is a point B. Here it is point B, and if I take this point B to be the external, no doubt it is an external point to the circle. And again, if I am applying the same concept that the tangent drawn from the external point to the circle are equal in length, then BD and BE will be equal. So as BD is eight, so is BE. BE be हमारे पास eight हो जाएगा. That means the side AC, which is to be find out if the sum of the part is known to me. And side side AB, which is to be find out if sum of the part that means BE that is known to me. So we will write here triangle ABC circumscribing circle with center O. And radius four centimeter. That is OD, OE, and OF. They all are four. They all are the radii. This, if I am considering this OE and OF, they are also regarded as radius of the circle. So they all are four centimeter each. Okay. So uh, the next is. ये रेडियस हो गए फोर सेंटीमीटर इच सो नाउ वी विल राइट एस सी एंड सीधा लिखो एस ए बी सी आर एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट्स एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट्स टू द सर्कल देयर फोर सी डी Is equal to CF as length of tangents 
ऐसे लिखा ना आपने एज ए बी सी आर एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट टू द सर्कल एंड लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट्स सीधा लिखो अट्ठाई लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट्स ड्रॉन फ्रॉम ड्रॉन फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट external point to the circle external point to the circle are equal lengths of tangent drawn from external point to the circle they are equal so if i am talking about this c c is external point iska matlab iski tangent ki length cd and cf they will be equal and b se bd and de will be equal so 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 is is so is CF, BD is eight, so is BE. So this is eight and this is six. Now whatever is to be find out, this AC and AB they are to be find out. उन इन ए सी एंड ए बी में जो हमें फाइंड करने हैं Uh, some of the part of this AC is known to us, and some of the part of this AB is also known to us, and which is unknown, this AF and AE, we will suppose it. Suppose I am supposing this F to be X, then what will be AE? Can anyone tell me? If I am taking this AF to be X, what will be the value of AE? Anyone? Raise your hand. Harjot Singh, Madhav is always raising hand. जोत आपको नहीं पता ये बात की एफ इज इक्वल टू एक्स वट विल बी दैल्यू ऑफ ए हाँ जी देन टेल टेल हर जोत वट विल बी द रीजन एंड इट विल बी एक्स ओनली रीजन बिकॉज टेंजेंट ड्रॉन फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट आर इक्वल लेंथ ऑफ द टेंजेंट ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट आर इक्वल से फॉर टेकिंग दिस ए एफ टू बी एक्स देन ए विल बी ऑल्सो एक्स सो यू विल राइट लेट ए एफ is equal to ए is equal to x दोनों ही x हो गए ठीक है so uh, till now we just have reached to that point in which we come to know the different segments of the sides of which we are to find the values I have find the different segments of this AC this is six this is x I have find out the different segments of AB This is eight and this is x. Different segments of the sides we have find out uh, whose values are required. Now the question is, if I want to find this AC, I need x, and if I want to find the length of AB, again I need x. So the target is how to find this x with respect to this figure. Is figure ke sahare is figure ki help se how we can find x? This should be our next proceeding. so you see that this is a triangle and uh, uh, i can divide this triangle into three parts how uh, this triangle can be divided into three parts by this one is triangle boc boc another is triangle aob aob and third one is triangle aoc the whole triangle is divided into three parts one is aob another is boc and last one is aoc and if i ask you to find the area of this triangle it is very much obvious that area of this triangle abc this is sum of the areas of aob boc and cod teeno ke areas ko jab aap add karoge you will get the area of this triangle but you know we need to find x x is a variable to find the value of variable we need an equation so by just writing that area of this triangle is equal to sum of the areas of the, these three triangles will not sort out the purpose that it will not uh, give us any equation so how to form the equation firstly we will find the area of this triangle by adding these three triangles and then uske baad we will find area of this triangle by using theron's formula so two way we will find area one way by dividing it it into three triangles and adding those areas adding the areas of these these three triangles will give us the area of triangle abc and in the second way we will find the area of this triangle by using theron's formula then you know with uh, whatever way you are finding the area of this triangle the answer will be the same that means 
टू थिंग्स विल बी इक्वल जो एरिया हम तीनों को एड करके फाइंड करेंगे दैट एरिया एंड द एरिया विच वी विल फाइंड आउट बाई यूजिंग फॉर्मुला बोथ द एरिया विल बी इक्वल टू वन अनदर दोनों एरिया एक दूसरे के इक्वल हो जाएंगे एंड दैट विल गिव अस एन इक्वेशन equation in variable x we will solve that equation and we will reach to x this is the line of action action of the further solution so first of all i am finding area triangle abc this is equal to area aoc triangle aoc plus area triangle boc plus area triangle aob that means Area triangle ABC will be find out by adding the areas of three triangles, right? So if I'm asking you what is area of triangle AOC, you just just look at this triangle AOC. Its area is half into base, that means AC, into height, that means OF. Half into base into height. Okay. Similarly, if we are talking about BOC, the area will be half into base BC and height OD, and then Area of AOB half into base AB into height OB. Why I am taking them to be height? How I know that this is height? How I know this is perpendicular? Height will be only at ninety degree. And how I know that these angles are ninety degree? Because tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact. BC is tangent to this circle, and the point of contact is D. So radius. At the point of contact will be perpendicular, so this is perpendicular. So is this, and so is F. So that's why I can use them as perpendicular. So this is equal to half. What is the value of AC? You can see AC. This AC. This is six plus x. The x plus six. OF is radius. This is four. Already we have written OF is equal to four. Similarly, half. And what you can see about BC? BC is fourteen, and OD. OD is radius. This is four. Half. What is AB? Ah, uh, AB is x plus eight according to figure, and O OE is radius. That is four. So we are just replacing the values of the certain uh, expressions in the given step. So further, we'll solve it. Therefore. Area triangle ABC. This is equal to from all the three terms of the expression, first term, second term, third term. It is very well seen that one by four, one by two into four can be taken as common, and inside we will be left with x plus six, fourteen plus x plus eight. This is left with us. So this is two. X plus x two x. This is twenty eight. Again, I am taking two as common. This is x plus fourteen. So we are having four into x plus fourteen. Mark it to be equation number one. So in one way, when we are finding area of triangle ABC, we are getting it to be four into x plus fourteen. Right. So now let us find the area of this triangle ABC in the another way, and that is by using Theron's formula. Now we will find area of triangle ABC by using Theron's formula. Okay. And you know to find the area of triangle ABC by Theron's formula, we need S, that is semi perimeter. We need the sides of the triangle, which denoted by ABC. Let us see. So now. For area of triangle ABC, S equal to semi perimeter, and that is equal to. पहले ABC लिख लो semi perimeter बात करो. हम A लेते हैं AC को that is x plus six. Small b is CB that is fourteen. Small c, I am taking a b, and that is x plus a. ये a b c की value होगी, small a b c की, क्योंकि Heron's formula लगाना है, उसमें a b c चाहिए, triangle की uh, sides की value चाहिए, so that's why I am denoting a b c. So now s, s is semi perimeter. S is semi perimeter of triangle a b c. So 
semi perimeter formula is a plus b plus c upon 2 replacing the values a is x plus 6 plus b is 14 and plus c is x plus 8 divided by 2 so this is 2x plus 28 upon 2 2 can be taken as common x plus 14 Upon two, get cancelled. We are having x plus forty. This comes out to be the semi-perimeter of triangle ABC. Right now, we will find area of triangle ABC by using Kiron's formula. Using this SABC, let us find Kiron's uh, area of this triangle by Kiron's formula. Remember, the first area it has been come out. We, let us write it here. Let us save it. Equation number one. so i'm going to drop this again area triangle abc this is equal to square root of s s minus a s minus b and then s minus c so this is equal to square root of s that means x plus 14 s minus a that means x plus 14 minus c a Minus followed by bracket x plus six s minus b that means x plus fourteen minus b is fourteen s minus c यानी कि x plus fourteen minus c is x plus e nothing new I'm just replacing the values so this is equal to square root of x plus fourteen minus को अंदर ले जाओ x plus fourteen minus x minus six here Minus fourteen minus fourteen get cancelled, so it will be x only. And uh, again, take this minus inside the bracket minus x minus a. So you will be having x plus fourteen plus x minus x get cancelled. This is eight into x plus x minus x get cancelled. This is six. So area of this triangle it comes out to be. Square root of x x plus fourteen into forty a. So this is the area of triangle ABC when we are finding it by Kiron's formula. Now no need to multiply it because we are having the same bracket here also and same bracket here. So this will uh, reduce the complication of calculations. Otherwise, calculations will become difficult if we are multiplying the brackets and opening it. So you see, let let us mark it to be equation number two. In equation number one, the area of the triangle it comes out to be four into x plus fourteen, and in equation number two, the area of triangle comes out to be root x x plus fourteen into forty eight. So whether we are finding the area of the triangle in one way or the another way or the third way or the fourth way, the area will remain the same. So you will write from one and two, from one and two. This area four into x plus fourteen. This is equal to square root of x x plus fourteen into forty eight. Right. So you will do squaring both side. <clears throat> so when we will squaring both sides, this will be sixteen x plus sixteen square. Square and square root get cancelled. X into x plus fourteen into forty eight. This and this. Two power one power के साथ कट गई. This is sixteen into x plus fourteen is equal to x into forty eight. Take the sixteen inside. Sixteen x plus two twenty four is equal to forty eight x. So uh, take this sixteen uh, x on the another side. Forty eight x minus sixteen x. So this is two twenty four. Thirty-two x. So two twenty-four upon thirty-two is equal to x. Cut it, you will get x to be seven. So you are having x is equal to seven. And when you are cutting this x, it means you are very much near to find the values of the sides of the triangle. So what is required? We want to find AC, and AC is x plus six, and that is. Seven plus six, and that is equal to thirteen. We want to find AB. AB is x plus eight. That is seven plus eight, and that is equal to fifteen. 
this is the answer for the size of the pump it is just a matter of calculations nothing else if you are calculating the two areas carefully without any mistake then you can find this x very easily and when x is being find you can find the sides of the triangle so easy so this is all about for today's lecture we'll continue tomorrow maintain your attendance in all the period it doesn't it doesn't mean that you are attending first period class in charge period and you will get to yourself marked as present so you have to attend all the lectures if you want to get present in your attendance register please mind it